Now, if you've been following this drama-packed season, you'll know it introduced us to some characters who will be etched into our memories forever. And not for the right reasons. We're talking about the major and minor villains that made this season so unforgettable. But before we dive into the nitty-gritty, you know the drill, folks. Smash that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all things 90 Day Fiancé. We live for your comments, so share your thoughts down below. Alright, let's get into it. Carmela's Catfish. Oh boy, let's kick things off with a bang. Ever heard of a catfish? Well, Tyre found out the hard way. He thought he was talking to a gorgeous woman named Carmela from Barbados. But surprise, surprise, he was being catfished by someone named Christian. Talk about a plot twist. The real Carmela turned out to be a sweetheart, but Christian, who duped Tyre for years for some financial gain, not so much. Major villain alert. Violet. Now, let's talk about Violet, our minor villain of the season. She had a rocky relationship with Donald Riley during his trip to Vietnam. Violet was pretty hot and cold with Riley, which left him feeling like he was on an emotional roller coaster. She even pulled the pregnancy card towards the end of the season, which may or may not have been a lie. Plus, she went a bit too far by harassing Riley's elderly father during an argument. Not cool, Violet. Donald Riley. Speaking of Riley, he's no angel either. He struggled to express his feelings and communicate, which made things super frustrating for Violet. Plus, he had his friend call her out for being a liar, crossing some major boundaries. Trust issues and failed relationships don't mix well, and Riley needs to work on unpacking his emotional baggage. Nicola Cannon. This foreign cast member wasn't exactly winning hearts this season. Dating Maisha Johnson from the US, he was often rude and dismissive towards her, dropping lines like, You're most cute when you're mute. Ouch. And he refused to talk through their problems, leaving Maisha feeling invalidated and frustrated. Not the way to treat your partner, Nicola. Statler. Now, let's talk about Statler, the girlfriend of British woman Dempsey Wilkinson. She sure knows how to make an entrance with her crass and sex-crazed demeanor. Statler boasted about her many conquests, even in front of Dempsey's friends and family. She also ignored Dempsey's boundaries and love-bombed her. Statler convinced Dempsey to let her move to the UK, despite her hesitation. Talk about a whirlwind romance. Jasmine Panetta. Hold on to your hats, folks, because Jasmine is a major villain of the season. She was on her absolute worst behavior. She demanded Gino move her into a $3,000 a month building, secretly where her ex lived. Then, she confessed to cheating on Gino with her ex, and of course, claimed she lied later. Her erratic behavior and obsession with Gino's money have led to some serious gold digger accusations. Gino doesn't seem too thrilled in this relationship. Christian all good. Now, let's talk about Christian who embarked on a relationship with trans woman Cleo Corain in the UK. But Christian brought his family's prejudice with him, making things awkward from the get-go. He chatted up other women in front of Cleo, consistently put her in uncomfortable situations, and was insensitive to her being autistic. Not exactly Mr. Charming, right? Amanda Wilhelm. And here it is, the big one, folks. Amanda Wilhelm takes the crown as the biggest villain of this season, she started talking to Romanian social media star Razvan Ciocoi just weeks after losing her husband to cancer. Amanda came off as immature and not ready for anything serious. She treated Razvan with contempt, made him cry, and constantly compared him to her ex. But guess what? She turned things around with some love bombing magic and convinced Razvan to take her back. Talk about a roller coaster romance. So, there you have it, folks the villains of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season 6. It's been one wild ride, and we can't wait to see the next season has in store for us. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the dramatic world of reality TV, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more scintillating updates. And as always, your opinions matter. Who's your top pick for the ultimate villain of this season? Or are you secretly shipping some of these couples? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more riveting news and gossip. Until next time, keep it spicy. 90 Day Fiancé fans.